gardeners so the day has finally come and I just set up my green tree python enclosure it is behind me over there so I'm not gonna waste too much time and I'm gonna get straight to the point and show you guys how I built it um, I do just want to give another shout out to Josh's frogs thank you so much for giving me everything that I need to make this build including the enclosure and everything in it I love how it turned out and I couldn't be happier with it so thank you so much and again anyone who wants to purchase anything from Josh's frogs you can use my coupon code reptilian garden at the checkout and save yourself 15% off of your order so I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna get straight into it I hope you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and leave a comment let me know what you guys think about it so the very first thing I have to do is take the fake background out. So I just did all of these latches or undid them. And then this just lifts right off the top of it. And we are just gonna pull this guy out because I'm going to be making my own background. If I can get it out. So the next step is just laying it so it's on its backside because I'm going to be putting in the background over here. And just be careful with the glass because you don't want to just like leave it like that because it can very easily snap off. So I just have that supported over there and I'm going to set up my cork bark where I want it to be in the enclosure. So I just set my cork bark down. This is how I want it to be. And the next step is to use the spray foam. So this is the spray foam that I'm using. Apparently this is the one that is black, so the pond and stone one. So that's kind of what I want to go for, even though I'm going to cover it all up anyway. Um, I'm going to put gloves on before I start spraying this stuff. Apparently it's really sticky and you definitely should wear gloves when doing this. So I'm about to start using this stuff. Um, I hear that this stuff also expands a lot, so I'm not going to be using too much of it. So we're going to see. finished with all of the foam and I just wanted to make sure that I was like really tucking it in all of the cork bark. Um, it's better to have too much because once this dries I can just pick it off and just make it a little bit thinner if I want to. So it's better to have a little bit more than you need rather than less. Um, so now I basically just have to wait a day and let this dry. So it is day two and the foam has completely dried and it is definitely expanded so what i'm going to do now is just take a butter knife and try to peel this away and smooth it out as much as i want it to be and then i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to be using today so i'm definitely going to need gloves um, this is the silicone that i'll be using the silicone one is the one that's safe for reptiles and amphibians so this is the one that you need to get and i'm also going to be using the bio bedding so I'm going to start carving this up.
I'm just waiting for the background to dry right now and I have PVC pipe that I just painted. Um, so I kind of just did a combination of these colors and I'm gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm going to styrofoam them in. And these are going to be Metamora's new purchase. So I'm really excited, everything is coming along. It's looking really good. I added some moss and dirt and cork bark. So all of that has to dry now for a day. So once I get the PVC pipes in, hopefully by tomorrow, everything will be pretty much set. So the very next step that I did was I basically just took the silicone and I used it to get these rods to stick. Um, I tried to get one a little lower than the other so that way she can choose wherever she wants to go. And then I put some more silicone on top of the rods and then stuck some dirt and moss on top of it just to make it a little bit more naturalistic. So I'm going to hope that they stay in place and don't fall. And they need to just dry like this for another 24 hours. So everything is done for today and I have to check on this again tomorrow. So I have finally finished building this enclosure and I absolutely love how it turned out. Um, the only thing I kind of don't like is how bare this is in the back so I kind of want to add some more foliage to the back portion. 
um, but I absolutely love how the live plants look. They just look so amazing in here and they're gonna boost the humidity up as well. I just love how this turned out, so I'm really excited to get Metamora in here. So that is the last and final step of this entire setup. So I'm gonna go grab Metamora and see how she likes it. I just wanna take one last look. So this is what she's in right now. It's like so boring. I took a couple of her fake plants out to put in the new enclosure, but this is what she's been in. And she's about to go into this amazing setup. So I'm just so, so excited right now. So I have Metamora here and she kind of looks like she's gonna be shedding soon. So she wasn't too happy to come out, but I'm sure she's gonna love her new enclosure. So let's go get her in there. And this is the gauge that I got from Josh's frog. So I just turned her basking light on, so it hasn't been on that long. So she has a 62% humidity, so everything is still adjusting because I literally just put this in. But hopefully we'll get to those proper temperatures soon. I really love how this thing works and how it turned out. And she seems to be absolutely loving it. Hi. 